Hey guys, how's it going? Cornflakers here from CBG Gaming. Just going into this game here versus Akira and uh, L. L playing Zerg, Akira playing Protoss. Cornflakers here from CPG Gaming. Looks like we will be loading this game already. So here we have L in the red, Akira here down in the opaque orangey yellow color. Uh, fantastic color there for the Protoss. GLHF going out by both players. So, Cornflakers from CPG, Coffee Pot Gaming, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and here on Owned. Also, make sure you check out Algoma Gaming, youtube.com backslash Algoma Gaming, and facebook.com backslash Algoma Gaming as well for the latest in the StarCraft II tournament here at Algoma University in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, here on planet Earth. If you're tuning in from anywhere else, thank you for... Thank you for tuning in from somewhere else. I need, I need something better for that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps you can let me know what I should say at the beginning, but we do have a quick pattern coming down from Akira. We can see that L is scouting out with her overlord as per usual. Nothing fancy going on between both teams. Taking a quick sneak peek at everyone, seeing what they're doing. We do have L here. Akira here on bottom, just farming away. If you like what you see, like the video, share the video, tell us who you're cheering for. Are you cheering for Akira? Are you cheering for L? Do you like the Zerg? Do you like the Protoss? Let me know. Let's take a quick sneak peek here at resources. It does look like Akira is actually going up um, a couple hundred resources there. She does drop the gateway pretty early. No spawning pool by the Zerg player, currently the probe in the base from Akira. Will she be putting up a, uh, a pylon? Will she just be walking around checking things out? More than likely, that quick expansion there from L, grabbing that base right outside. Gateway almost done, probably could have seen a fast forge expand from the Protoss player. That is somewhat out of the question currently due to the sheer amount of resources available. Two simulators going down by Akira, Hatchery going down by L. This is uh, game number one between both players from the Algoma Games, Activities, Media, and Entertainment Club. The StarCraft match first game between both Akira and L. Best of three series. We will see who takes the game between the Protoss and the Zerg. PVT, TVP this game, ladies and gentlemen. And we see just absolutely nothing happening by this probe, potentially waiting for a couple of zealots to come out. No zealots currently in production, no probes currently in production. We will keep a close eye on that to see what is exactly happening. We do see that spawning pool coming down behind the mineral line. See a couple more probes coming in. No queen currently being constructed to go over and tend to not only this base but to the fast expansion as well. Uh, so looks like the prom, the Zerg player will just try and be getting as much resources as possible, sending the Overlord down. Finally, will be able to see uh, where L is actually set up. Um, and uh, okay. she is going to hit Akira's base anytime now. Akira already knowing where L is, of course, as we know before. And um, Akira just grabbing some sight with those pylons, uh, just making sure, uh, dropping that cybernetic score. So, uh, the, depending on what we build from the cybernetic score, we should be able to see what the general idea of the Protoss player will be throughout this game. Just making sure she gets sight here with these pylons. Uh, in case the reserve player tries something like a Nidus Canal, uh, something uh, that's pretty much the only drop uh, they can really do. Um, so we have uh, the gateways going down between all these pylons here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five gateways, empty gateways going down here by the Protoss player. And we have that spawning pool not currently researching anything right now. But we do have that queen finally on the hatchery. Um, Overlord's just kind of chilling out here right behind the fast expansion. And we also have a couple of zerglings going out to check things out. And Akira up there with the probe up top potentially might be going. Um, we do have enables gateways to upgrade to warp gates. 
Uh, so it looks like the gateways will be warping in uh, units up in here, uh, depending on where Akira builds this pylon. Could be up here in the corner, or potentially if she gets the probe in, it could be even uh, on the corner here and just warp them directly into base, which would be a fantastic feat by the Protoss player. Could almost Im immediately GG uh, the Zerg player. Um, Zerg player not really pumping out a ton of Zerglings. We do see some coming out soon, but probably about eight there so far. Six to eight Zerglings. And she might be making an attack with these because the Protoss player only does have that one Zealot up, but they do have multiple gateways. These gateways might be warping or might be going directly into warp gates as soon as that's made available, and that is exactly what we see happening. Uh, all the, all the uh, gateways have been turned into warp gates, and now as long as the Protoss player has vision, um, it should be uh, should be good to go for these. Uh, for these stalkers. I had no idea there were stalkers up, um, but fantastic. Or maybe the stalkers were being built. Potentially that's what it was. And um, a couple of photon cameras are coming up here for these heads. Now it does have those in the way. Looking a little, uh, looking a little aggressive. Zealots are going to come up. Stalkers are going to get the range on them. Zealots are going to quickly peel back and just maintain that ramp presence. Uh, two zealots in the front will probably negate any possibility of those zerglings getting through up into the base, swarming around. Uh, while they do have quite a bit of space around the buildings, they're built in kind of such a way that it's somewhat awkward to maneuver around. And we do see these um, trip photon cannons up in front, so that will definitely protect uh, the Protoss player's base for sure. And there we go, we do see the pylon, we do see the warp gates sending in the units up here to attack the base. We do have roaches being built from the Zerg player. We do have those speedlings finally being researched, and we do have an ego chamber going down as well, as long as another extractor coming up. We do have the hatchery uh, pumping out that, uh, that overlord. Uh, and the queen there, do we have another queen on this base? Yes, we do. Not expanding the creep as much as I would like to see it being expanded. If the creep was expanded a little bit, say to over here, potentially they'd be, they might be able to see um, a little bit of lag there going on from Akira, apparently. Or maybe it could just be a small uh, extract. And Akira taking control over the site. She will be able to see these Zerglings over here at the high pop uh, mineral location. But with these photon cannons and warping in units, I think another warp is set to come on soon, potentially sometime here, very, very soon. Can warp in some more stalkers as soon as the resources are made available. L with those dual, uh, L with the dual bases definitely has a huge resource lead, but has yet to spend her resources effectively in terms of upgrades and units. Uh, Evo Chamber still has nothing built on it currently, Not le uh, no level 1s currently being built. Um, the, amount of, uh, the amount of spending done, uh, we can just see the sheer amount is it's pretty much even across the board, but since L does have those dual bases, it allows her to spend a lot more money than her opponent Akira. However, not taking advantage of that could possibly be one of the main reasons why L might go down this game. She does have quite a few roaches. She, uh, she has about 24 roaches, and uh, she does see Ella. She does see Akira up here. Akira warps into the Stalkers last minute. The Stalkers, in my opinion, I don't the Protoss version of these roaches. Would it be the best idea to go against roaches? I'm not 100% sure. Definitely would need some uh, front of units, like some zealots, to be taking that first move. Because these, uh, these stalkers are uh, they're going to drop and get that pylon down. And uh, it's going to be a nice try by, by Akira, but those mass roaches there, front L, unupgraded roaches, are, are going to end up being able to do the trick for, for L. So kudos to that for getting that to roll down. Uh, we got a robotics facility going down in the back of the base. Got a couple of. Uh, a couple of warp gates, not doing a whole bunch. Cybernetic score, not a lot being researched. We do have that, uh, the ground unit, I assume, uh, has been researched already. Um, we do have the our damage of the stalkers 11 and damage of the zealots being 9. So, uh, 
Uh, we just need, and we got that trip basis. There we see the trip basis from L. This could be GG if L manages to spend her resources accordingly. She is sitting on about 25k or 2,500 worth of minerals. Uh, could this be for a quick tech to mutalisks? Could this be uh, this is ground range units and zerg ground units? So uh, this could mean roaches, mass roaches. It definitely looks like that's the way things are going. Uh, currently building some more overlords so she doesn't get supply capped. Akira building that uh, expansion away from the site of El's uh, overlord there. So kudos to her for getting that quick, um, her slash him, uh, to get that quick, um, well not, it's not quick, but to get that expansion nonetheless as a Protoss player definitely helps a lot to get, the, uh, to, get to tech up and to get those upgrades. Because once you upgrade your Protoss units, they can become one of the strongest units in the game, as opposed to the Zerg units, where you just basically mass them down. That's not the same for Zerg units, like upgrade them as well, which it looks like Alice might be neglected to do. We do have those um, those roaches out, but no roach, uh, no roach teching has been done, which is kind of odd, because if you want to build these roaches, you might want to try and get as much out of them as you can. Um, so as you can see, we have about 40, 40 plus, 48 roaches, I want to say. 6, 12, 24, uh, 24 plus 6 is 32, I think. Not 100% sure. Roughly about 48. We got two batches of them. And uh, that could probably GG it here for the, pro, for the uh, Zerg player. But these photon cannons do provide quite a bit of damage. 20 damage on top. Um, pretty decent attack speed on those two, and the way they're positioned, the, the Zerg player will have to do some pretty huge, and we do have a Colossus, that's nice to see, from the Pro, uh, from the Protoss player, that Colossus will help for sure, and we do have increasing the range of the Colossus, uh, being researched, we do have a, uh, an Overseer, or an Observer, an Observer, the Overseer is the, is the Zerg, we do have uh, that going in to their base, so that should be nice for uh, Akira to see what's going on. We do finally have the attacks of all Zerg ground range units being upgraded, aka the Banelings, Aspire, there we go, that is what we were looking for. The Mutalists, the early Mutas from L. it's been uh, roughly about 17 minutes into the game so far, and L now has a mass following of these Roaches, that's pretty much three groups of roaches, which will be more than enough. Uh, potentially packaged with some banelings if she builds a baneling nest. I don't think that is happening anytime soon. The spire there would definitely be nice to see a couple of upgrades going on those mutas because they are so expensive. She does have trip bases though, so um, maybe that might be able to thwart that. And we can see here from the income that L is just an insanely large amount of harvesters. She has 42 harvesters, about 10 more than the Protoss player, and um, that Protoss base just starting, and we see this huge army, just this huge army of of roaches being led by this one master roach, and uh, they're coming in here, the Observer, or the uh, Colossus doing a little bit of damage on the side, L pulling back, Photon Cannon doing some damage, Got the sentry in there, doing a little bit of damage, taking down some little roaches before they all have to come up here. Single fireman down the ramp. Definitely not a good idea by Al. Definitely gonna be losing a lot of the uh, a lot of the roaches just from the sheer range on the Colossus. Maybe we can get that one Colossus down from the side. That's the roaches are attacking at. One by one, maybe the roaches are coming through as well and do a little bit of damage to this Colossus. The Colossus currently sitting around 15 HP. 15 HP and needs a couple more hits on it, but they're focusing terrible micro going on in the front that colossus looks like it will take absolutely no more damage even though they are in perfect perfect range to take that one down it does look like now they're still not focused they finally get that one colossus down but ladies and gentlemen that will more than likely gg in the favor of the protoss player that was everything that the zerg player had minus these air units however with the stalkers they can attack air with the Colossus, I'm pretty sure they can attack air. No, they cannot. I don't know what I'm talking about. These zealots, I know for a fact, can attack air. So it looks like we just have these stalkers versus these units versus these drones. 
Night Snake, what hell chooses to take out first? Does she decide to attack these, uh, these, uh, the Roach is coming out, taking down those, uh, taking down those Zealots pretty easily. Roach is coming down from up top. Now with those massive amounts of resources to pop out a bunch of units right away with those trip bases. It allows her to overpower her opponent, just like we saw right here, and possibly countering right now with a couple of those mutas and a bunch of those uh, roaches. Will she, will she be building more roaches at this uh, at this base? At this base, who knows? They're currently just larva. Um, amazing, uh, amazing attack, defend, attack that we've seen a very entertaining game from both players. A fantastic game. We do have another Colossus coming down. We do have some Warp Gates warping in Stalkers currently. Uh, stalkers all around for all Warp Gates involved. We have no, um, no uh, blink on those. Uh, that would be a fantastic spell. Um, allowing those Stalkers to come up here and just hop over the wall and be able to come into the base. See these, or, um, sorry, uh, Akira still with only those two expansions. Whereas L had depleting all those mineral resources with those drones. Now has those three bases, but really only two of them are worth anything. Potentially she might be expanding into a third uh, or, or a fourth, or maybe taking this high pop one here with the cool looking gold ones. She does have quite a few, but CD does her. Ah, oh, Akira. CD is one of the main players who plays Protoss all the time, so my mistake for getting that. Uh, Basis top by Zerg. I've been Cord Flakers from CPG Gaming. Thanks for coming to check out the game. Stay tuned. Peace out.